This question is about the Doppler effect. Um, let's quickly run through it. The whistle of a locomotive moving at a constant speed emits a sound wave of 2,000 hertz. A man that stands on the side of the railroad hears a sound of frequency 1,836 hertz when the locomotive moves away from him. A girl that stands on the side of the railroad detects a sound of a frequency of 2196,2 hertz when the locomotive approaches her. Use the speed of sound in air as 340 meters per second. The first question is that the Doppler effect in words, remember, the Doppler effect is the change in frequency or the pitch of the sound detected by a listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound propagation. You can also say the change in the observed frequency when there is relative motion between the source and the observer. If we look at question 6.2. Explain why the girl detects a sound of higher frequency as the locomotive approaches her. For the same constant speed of sound, the frequency of sound is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So firstly, you have to say that the speed of sound does not change. Why not? Because the medium is the same. What changes here is the wavelength. Why? Because the sound waves emitted are compressed in front of the locomotive. Therefore, the observed frequency is going to be higher. We know that this frequency increase, therefore, has to do with the compression of wavelengths of the sound waves. If we then look at question 6.3, will the frequency detected by the driver be greater than, equal to, or smaller than 2000 Hz? We know that it's going to be equal to the reason for this is because the driver of the locomotive is going to be at rest or move at a velocity of zero meters per second relative to the source of the sound. Therefore, no relative motion between the train driver and the locomotive. For question 6.4, calculate the speed of the locomotive. Here we're going to have to use Doppler's formula. So remember when you use Doppler's formula that you have to write it as it is given on your formula sheet. So it's going to mean that you have to write this down. The frequency of the listener equals V plus minus VL over V plus minus VS. And all of this will be multiplied with the frequency of the source. So one mark will go for that. I'm going to use the frequency of 1836 to solve this question. So the frequency of the listener 1836 is going to be equal to when a locomotive moves away. Remember that the minus is above the line. So it will be 340 minus 0 over 340 plus the velocity of our source. We're going to multiply this with the frequency of the source which was given as 2000. When we now calculate the velocity of the source, it should give you a value of 30,37 meters per second. Now in this question, you could also have used the sound that's being compressed, the girl that stands on the side of the railroad that's being approached by the locomotive. You once again have to give Doppler's formula as is on your formula sheet, but then your values would be a little bit different. It would be 2196,2 as the frequency of the listener is going to be equal to 340 plus zero above the line and under your line 340 minus Vs. Remember when it approaches, or when they move closer to one another, the plus is above the line, the minus under the line. And now once again, we have to multiply this with the 2000. And now your answer will also be 30,37 meters per second. So here we see it doesn't matter which way we go about it. The question says we have to calculate the speed, therefore we don't need to add a direction here. The last question, write down one application of the Doppler effect in medicine. Here you can say it's used in flow meters in medical science to measure the speed and the direction of blood flow or the movement of the heart of the fetus. In other words, a Doppler flow meter. It's also used uh, in ultrasound scanning to see the unborn child and ultrasound scanning is used to hear the heart of a fetus.